all right guys Rokaga here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are again on jujutsu kaisen phantom parade on today's video we're gonna do a beginner guide we're, not, we're gonna talk about the things you should avoid the mistakes you should avoid and of course the things you should do to progress really fast and what is the best way to start so let we let we start immediately uh, by the way the tier list have changed uh, again so i will do again the updated version of the tier list today and definitely that one is the most correct one because i tried few of those characters and i was actually in shock there are only eight tier. so the things have changed in a great way so you're gonna know precisely for who you should go for but anyhow things first uh, things uh, first things first so re-rolling we already know about that but i'll just repeat it really really quickly uh, so re-rolling in this game, there is an infinite re-roll banner uh, where you use a guaranteed SSR ticket that we get just by logging in in the game. You will get it uh, immediately pretty much and then you can use it. On that banner, you can infinite re-roll. So every time you're not satisfied with the result, you click white button and then the red button is the one where you are like, yes, I want this character. So pretty much that is the summon for the guaranteed SSR character. Um, and then it's your choice for who you should go f on that banner for you sh for who you should go for but the definitely character that you want to get from the get-go is gojo the perfect reroll would be gojo i um kuji gojo kuji and nobara for example or uh, kuji gojo i that would be also amazing combination uh, but also you can play around depending what you want to do but that two combination would be like the most god tier based on the latest tier list okay um also my recommendations are before you do an actual uh, guaranteed summoning ticket do first this okay first do the two three multis that you're gonna be able to do because here you might pull already gojo or someone else ari or um kuji you know or nobara so you could pull some crazy characters already here so then you pull those here and then you you can like play around with the guaranteed ssr ticket i believe you understand what i'm saying because it could easily happen that you summon gojo that you go for gojo for the guaranteed uh, summoning ticket for the infinite reroll and then you do two multis right here and then you pull gojo again it is better to pull different characters at the beginning that would be better so that's why it's definitely recommended that you summon first here do two multis and then based on those two summons you go for the guaranteed ssr okay and that's that's the whole point okay so that's about the summons and everything else of course one more thing while we add it one more thing that you should definitely avoid and not do in the beginning please do not summon on these banners for the ability cards do not summon on this banner okay do not summon here and here do not summon only summon in the beginning on the banner where you have a featured characters okay and of course the reroll banner that's it don't summon as a free to play here you could waste a lot of gems i'm just saying okay also really important is doing this most likely this is like daily i didn't translate that now but doing all of these missions is like really important of course and this is like extremely important so this is the seven day uh, missions that we have it is extremely important that you do all of them um for example i still need to do this okay i need to unlock this but it's fine do it as fast as possible because on the seventh day we are getting a guaranteed ssr ticket okay that will be again uh, the beautiful thing although we won't be able to re-roll on this one but definitely you should do this and while you're doing this quests you will progress because the game itself will guide you what things you need to do to progress efficiently uh, by the way what i forgot to say about the re-roll uh, so you go on a home screen when it, for example you did the summons and you're not satisfied you go to the home screen um, and then on the right you will have the bottom the button okay you click on that white button and then on the top right corner bottom right corner 
you have that tab and you click it and you're gonna delete the data super easy in 10 seconds okay just so I, just so i repeat that part because i believe i forgot okay now we know now about the basics make sure to do this kind of stuff like generally the game will lead you what you need to do even without translations you are fine you can use bubble translate for super easy translations in this game by the way also an amazing tip right here okay now the next thing that you should do and definitely that is the key for the progress and that is doing the story mode okay doing the story mode is the way to unlock many other activities in the game plus this is the way to get a bunch of gems so you can do a lot of summons definitely i recommend uh, for example going with advantage type advantage again don't like you cannot take like really weak characters or anything like that but definitely you should prioritize that typing advantage and definitely i recommend playing manually uh, uh, definitely against the strong stronger opponents because then it will be easier to manipulate when you want to use the ultimate in which in which type of situation you want to use the ultimates the buffs like for example her can do the buff uh, above the attack so i want to time it perfectly for my gojo and her and him you know um so in that way i will definitely uh, i'll be able to get much much better result by playing manual also using combos any type of ultimates to if two characters use any type of ultimates uh you do the combo ultimate as well so have that in mind that is a really really nice thing to know leveling up is super important as you're gonna play you're gonna unlock different activities and you're gonna unlock this this is the place where you can grind material for the level up and this is i believe for the um, ability cards so you can level them up and here uh this is like jp is like general material i believe that is used while you're um grading your characters okay now about leveling up the characters super important don't be afraid to level up your main characters that you are using at some point during the story you will see i didn't still reach it but i know um you will have like requirement all level 50 characters all level 60 characters all so you cannot just like focus on one character and like i said grade is super important uh, you generally can uh, like uh, grind the grade in 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 the story mode itself okay so that's a nice thing uh this is the great you will have to grind those material this is the material that pretty much for the dupes so this is to max out the characters completely uh, this is the part where you're gonna need jp and this material this material i will show you where you can get it uh, but this is how you level up your skills definitely it is recommended to level up first uh high dps skills so you can check out the multiplier and the percentages and calculate based on that and level up proper skills in the beginning um, leveling up is super important i already showed you where you can grind those materials so that's good uh, ability cards really quickly in the beginning again level them up the one you're using use the bubble translate to know what, what this ability card uh, what this ability cards are doing because they're really really it's really important that you apply them to the right character for example omg that loading shit so for example uh, this ability card is extremely useful with gojo because you're forcing other opponents that they attack gojo okay so this is really good for the tanks and gojo <laughs> okay uh so that's about that what is this oh yeah this is the team composition again i talked about this roughly we, we, we won't go now into some crazy details or anything like that um how to link your account i have no idea bro <laughs> please if someone knows tell me because i would like to play it also on my phone okay um i'm thinking that i forgot something but i believe that's that here also you're gonna get some uh, like ssr ability card so that can be useful that's it summons also do these things right for each character you're using like for example 
Gojo right here. Okay, I also do the missions for that character. This will additionally buff the character. Plus, this is a really, really nice way to get those additional gems. Okay, and that's pretty much that, guys. That's pretty much that. For the beginning, I believe that's enough. Um, I will continue grinding the story, level up my characters, my ability cards. Uh, at the end of the day, even though I didn't like reroll, I have a pretty cool characters. Um, I'm happy with having her and Gojo right here. Plus, this is a really good SSR, by the way. Really good SR. Really good SR. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just missing a few more S SSR characters that I will get as I progress, and I'm fine. So, rerolling is a great option to definitely have that advantage, but I believe as the time will go, you will get those characters anyways that's it guys love you i hope you did enjoy the video leave a like subscribe thank you for all crazy support and yeah see you next one bye